In December 1941, the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor and the Pacific War began. However, America, with its greater military power, gradually overwhelmed Japan. In March 1945, America took decisive action and conducted the devastating Great Tokyo Air Raid. Then, in July, the Americans conducted the first successful test of an atomic bomb in history. Japan ignored Allied demands to surrender unconditionally. And America caused two of the greatest disasters in human history. But one man survived that living hell twice. Stomu Yamaguchi, 90 years old. As a shipbuilding engineer, Yamaguchi went on a business trip to Hiroshima at the age of 29. That is when he was caught in an atomic blast. Fleeing for his life, he returned to his family in his hometown of Nagasaki the following day. Then came a second atomic blast. Yamaguchi became one of the few double A-bomb victims. What did he experience all those years ago? And what kind of life did he live for the next 65 years? Just conveyed his tragic experiences in poetry. Uchi Kasanari Yakete Shinitaru Ningen no After his son passed away, Yamaguchi thought he had been kept alive himself for a reason. Supported by Toshiko, he decided to start telling his story. That day, he was preparing to talk about his experiences as a double A-bomb victim for the first time at a high school in Nagasaki. As he recalled the painful memories, his script grew to 90 pages with countless revisions. It took over two hours to read it aloud. Conveying the experience of being a witness to the horrors of atomic bombing to the next generation is actively carried out in Nagasaki. Members of the school's peace club had invited Yamaguchi to give his talk. The loss of his beloved son just one year previously had encouraged Yamaguchi to think he should do something for the future. He started talking, exerting all his strength. The detailed talk began at 4.30 in the afternoon and went on for two and a half hours. At the end, Yamaguchi said to the high school students, Kalazan 
原子爆弾によって無念の死を遂げた人々には深く思いを巡らせてください一人一人が真摯に過去の歴史に並び平和への大切さや私たちは核兵器廃絶世界高級平和に向けて命の限り力を尽くすことを誓います。九十を二十被爆者山口勤。三田市の命をバタンタッチしたいんです。信者たちも彼らのクリスチャンネームを残して今墓石になっていますが全部死んだ日は8月9日です。The A bombs dropped by a Christian country, the United States, had killed many Christians in Japan. Yamaguchi wondered how that could have happened. This feeling had been strengthened by the A bomb statue of the Virgin Mary found in the cathedral rubble. It had helped to calm the resentment that had been revived by his son's death. I just hope that people will be able to understand what you suffered and that they will be able to work for a world of peace so that other people don't have to suffer what you suffered and what the Ibaksha have had to live with. They went together to Urakami Cathedral. The Virgin Mary statue was pulled from the rubble of the cathedral that had been struck by heat rays and radiation just 500 meters from the hypocenter. Yamaguchi had acquired special permission for Kathleen to view the statue, which is usually off limits to the public. Both of them questioned whether it is really possible to achieve a world free from nuclear arms.
Thank you, Yamaguchi-san, for bringing me here. ここに連れてきてくれてありがとうございます。バコのね、力いります。神様の力いります。世界に訴えるため。<笑>